So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 8 of our New York City career mode in the Barclays Premier League. And before we start off this episode I'd like to say basically uh, the reason why I haven't been uploading recently. I've uploaded the Spurs number 10 and I uploaded the Pompey number 100. Um, basically because obviously I am doing A2 levels now if you are if you guys are not aware of that. So have been doing a lot of work, I've been having mocks, I've been having this, that and the other, and to be honest, it's been quite, I'm not really sure, I'm sure you guys will know what it's like when you guys have been through um, exams, been through everything like that, it is a hard time, you don't have time to do much other things, and I haven't had time to do any recording whatsoever, and also, along with that, I've had football nearly every night of the week, so I haven't had time, and I've still got exams, obviously, coming up, um, we've got the Easter holidays coming up soon, which is obviously a place where I can, obviously, try and upload uh, daily videos for you guys again, but that's the reason why I haven't been uploading recently, so sorry guys, but I will be trying to upload um, at least three or four videos a week, just to try and keep you guys happy, so we can jump straight back into this episode and guys Frank Lampard is returning to Stamford Bridge. Denise is cut back inside, plays ball to Discord. Discord to let fly from range, it goes up in the air, can we win that one in the air? No he can't because Begovic comes out and wins the uh, ball above David Villa's head which is unsurprising because obviously a goalkeeper every time he jumps in the air is going to have the advantage because he's got the use of his hands. But um, not, the best of, not the best of starts for Chelsea actually because uh, we've started quite well. Um, obviously um, they're probably going to shut me up, no they're not because Sonder's going to make an easy save there. But um, I was expecting Chelsea to come out all guns blazing and pretty much score an early goal but they haven't done so yet so that's good news for us we've got a penalty David Villa has won ourselves a penalty in the 33rd minute the big Serbian centre defensive midfielder isn't happy with the referee's decision we jump in and David Villa does clearly get his ankle clipped he goes to ground and we've been given the chance from the penalty spot David Villa taking responsibility no he's not I'm sorry guys, I've got to give it to Frank Lampard. Lampard up against Begovic. Frankie Lampard scoring against his former club at his former stadium. He does. Frank Lampard's done it. And um, Frank Lampard, um, he's just looking around. Oh, the Chelsea fans are going to be livid. He's come back with his, with his new club playing against his former club at his former stadium, scoring from the penalty spot, something he'd done so many times with a Chelsea shirt on, he's done it. Frankie Lampard scored against his former club on his return to Stamford Bridge. Another good ball through to Vargas. Jefferson Vargas cuts back inside. He goes for the strike and Courtois, what a save. This is where Chelsea is so dangerous. They got the ball with Diego Costa. Costa with, a far, with the ball to the far post. And Saunders comes out and makes the catch. But Chelsea are starting to pretty much put up the gears now. They're starting to really pretty much put lots of pressure on us. We've got the ball. Uh, Vargas is on the ball. Vargas trying to squeeze out right to Discord. But it doesn't exactly work at the moment. But I'm looking forward to the next few minutes. Because Chelsea, as they're pushing bodies forward, it's meaning there's more space at the back. Can we go on the counter and maybe pick up a second of the game? So Chelsea, once again, look how many bodies they got forward. They go for the strike. Saunders with a really good save. Can Iriola keep that one in play? He does do, and we win that ball there. We're going to win that one in the air? No, we're not. But Jung is on the ball. Jung keeps the ball. Uh, can we win that one back? Frankie, come on, Frank. Frank Lampard lost it. Chelsea, as you can see there, a nervous last 10 minutes for the New York City fans. They're pushing so many bodies forward. They're playing ball to the far post. We get back in the nick of time, but they've got the ball back. Matic goes for the strike. Matic hit the post. And we get it clear. Come on, win that one. We've got... Oh, my God. No, they've striked it again. This time, Saunders makes a save. And he lives it away. No. No. Yes. Oh, my God. Gonzalez through to Naki Wells. Naki Wells just come on the pitch. Wells cuts back inside. He goes all the way. Plays the ball back to Frank Lampard. Lampard's still got the ball. Plays the ball back to Wells. Wells to strike it. And Courtois once again. Really good save. I'm just 10 seconds remaining. Well, 10 seconds. Probably about a minute remaining. With the ball in the box. And that one gets cleared. Come on, ref. Blow your whistle. So, we have beaten Chelsea at Stamford Bridge thanks to a Frank Lampard penalty. That's right, guys. Frank Lampard, penalty, has won us the game away from home against Chelsea. We're in New York City, playing against Chelsea. Yes. Yes, that's right, guys. You are thinking right. We've won it. How we've done that, I just do not know. That means now we're level on points 
with Chelsea at the top of the table. We've now got our next game of the episode, which is going to be up against second place Manchester United. So if we go ahead and beat Manchester United, we will in fact pick up a three-point gap over them. We're playing at home. We've just beaten Chelsea away from home. How are we going to get on in this next game? We're going to have exactly the same line out. Frankie Lampard, can you do it again? So United with a really good chance with Memphis Depay. Oh no, Sanders. You've been beaten at your near post once again. And it's a really good goal from Memphis Depay. He takes on pretty much everyone down our right-hand side. We've got to be doing better defending than that. But you would never expect your goalkeeper to be beaten as easy as that at the near post. Saunders, you've got to save that. And it's going to be two, isn't it? We've been cleared off the line. Mukiele doing his duty there. Saunders did even die for it. And I think that was probably going to be finding its way into the back of the net. How this goal, this game is still 1-0, I don't know. Because unless we get our act together, we, this could be embarrassing. We've got a chance to break. We've played the ball through to Vargas. Is Vargas going to get there? Doesn't look like it. Because David De Gea, a wonderful starting position from him as he manages to sprint off his line and clear away the danger. So that looks like that's going to be it for the first half. Not being that much of an active first half. I thought we should have done a little bit better, to be honest. The goal could have been avoided, but we find ourselves 1-0 down, and we're going to have to try and somehow get a goal from somewhere. Another good chance. Vargas has been played through. Vargas to go for goal, and Vargas has hit the post. He's come so close there to getting ourselves back on level terms, but his strike is so very good. It beats David De Gea, but it also beats the post, and it gets the ricochets off the post, actually, and uh, Manchester United get let off the hook. Just proves that we might not have the best gift, technically gifted players, but we've got a very good team. We've got another good chance. Denise has been played through. Denise, surely? No. David De Gea once again. He saved it. United surely are going to double their lead. Rooney's been played through. Rooney doesn't miss them. 2-0. Discord's got a chance. Discord to go for goal from range. And David De Gea once again has made a fantastic save. And now, just to top it off, Frank Lampard's injured. Not the best of news for us, is it? And it's three. Um, Wayne Rooney once again picking up his second of the game there. And, uh, well, we've just been played off the park, to be honest. We're playing at home, and it looks like we've been playing away. Saunders, I don't know what he's complaining about. He hasn't had the best game in the world, has he? Um, lovely play from the Memphis Depay on the left-hand side. Whips the ball in the box. Rooney completely unmarked in the middle, and he smashes the ball into the back of the net. 3-0. Hopefully the referee's going to blow his full-time whistle and uh, we can just pretty much get put out of our misery here. Or maybe not. Can we get a consolation? Yeah. Oh my god, we've hit the post again. The chance we've had, either David De Gea has saved them or we've hit the post. We've come so unlucky, but that's it for the game. We end up losing it 3-0. Not a good result for us, but then there you go. We were a little bit disappointed that we couldn't at least, at least pick up a goal. Just have a look at there. We had 11 shots and not one of them went in. A little bit disappointing, to be honest. So bad news for us there. Frank Lampard suffered a broken elbow and is going to be out for a whole two months. That's a long time. So we've now got our third and final game of the episode, which is going to be away from home at the Hawthorns, and it's going to be up against West Brom. So it's not going to be an easy game for us, but let's see how we can get on. Hopefully we can bounce back from that 3-0 defeat against United and pick up all three points here. Lovely chance. We play the ball through to Vargas. Vargas surely going to find the back of the net. No, he's not because Ben Foster, what a save. A lovely ball through to Vargas. Vargas is up against uh, McCauley. He's going to beat him for pace. Vargas to cut back inside. Can Vargas find the back of the net? No, he can't. But it comes back to Perlo. Perlo strikes it. And Perlo, a player of his experience, has got to keep his composure there and slot that one into the back of the net. I don't know why he's missed. We win the ball back through Ariola. Ariola, can he win the ball back? Denise there. Denise out wide to Villa. Villa out wide once again to Discord. And um, our chance goes to nothing again. David Villa, he's got to be sold, hasn't he? He hasn't done anything for us. I know he's the top leading assister, but he's supposed to be banging in the goals, not assisting them. This could find in David Villa. David Villa's taking on his man. David Villa goes for strike, but he gets a block on it. And uh, Ben Foster picks up the missing pieces. So with 70 minutes gone... We've got to find a goal from somewhere, otherwise this looks like it's going to end up as a 0-0 draw. So the final whistle goes, and we can only manage a 0-0 result. Not the best result for us, but then I suppose coming back from a 3-0 loss up against uh, Manchester United, it wasn't the worst result in the world, was it? So that is going to be it for this episode of Cream Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below, as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you're around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and Cream Modes. Thank you so much much watching. Bye-bye.